Okay. Uh, first of all, Charlie, can you explain me uh, what's the, the purpose of your trip? The purpose yeah. of the trip? Well, I call this uh, a philanthropic pilgrimage. And that is because it's a pilgrimage like the ones you know here in Santiago. Uh, it's a walking a long way, finding yourself, meeting cultures. But instead of the traditional way of pilgriming, where it's a religious thing, this is a charity thing. I'm trying through this walk to raise money for a water supply system in Tanzania. And the idea is that while I'm walking for such a long distance, more than 18,000 kilometers through uh, 29 countries, and meeting a lot of different cultures, then it will be interesting for medias to cover it along the way, like you're covering it now. It's like that in almost every city I come through. And that, in the theory, should make it profitable for an extern company to finance this water system. So the idea is that everybody gets something out of it. The sponsor gets some good marketing campaign, I get my adventure, the media get good stories to tell, and the Africans get their water. Um, what's the problem with the water supply for many people living in Tanzania? Can you explain this? Yes, um, the problem in this specific village is that they live about 19 kilometers away from the nearest source of water. So that's 19 kilometers of walking to the nearest water source and 19 kilometers back again. That's a complete day spent on walking to get water. And that's how the symbolism came up in my head, that I'm walking so they don't have to walk. And uh, who's going to uh, build this uh, system for uh, water supply in Tanzania? It will probably be some local entrepreneurs. Uh, it's very important to get the local people involved in, uh, in the whole thing, so they feel responsible for it as well. Um, the, the, the way we are thinking about doing it now is to build two diesel generated pumps, because the water needs to be pumped from a long distance. It's completely dry in the underground. Um, but I have an idea that it might be possible to do it with solar energy, or wind energy, or other sustainable uh, sources. So if someone is watching and uh, has some technical knowledge, they are very welcome to write me and I will send them the report and they can maybe find a way of doing it in a sustainable manner. That would be way greater, because if we can do it this way, it will work as a pioneer system that can be used lots of other places. And uh, do you know um, how will it cost, this product? Yes, yes, the technical report we have made now suggests that it will cost 420,000 US dollars. That's a lot of money. And I'm almost sure that we can find a cheaper way to do it as well. So uh, again, if someone would be interested uh, some Spanish entrepreneurs maybe would be interested in getting this deal. Welcome to contact me. I sent you all the plant drawings, technical information and everything. And we are just looking for a good, cheap, sustainable way to do it if possible. So um, when you were in Denmark uh, before starting this trip, um, when did you decide to um, start this, this product? Uh, what, um, has changed in your mind to, to decide to uh, keep on with this project? Well, uh, the project actually started uh, in 2013 while I was living in this particular village. I went there to start an orphanage far out in the bush in this uh, Maasai community where I was living for six months as the only Westerner. And then um, I was managing this orphanage and when the water system broke down, we had, on the orphanage, we had to start to pay to get water delivered. And that's why I got involved in the water thing, because I had the responsibility of the orphanage. Um, we found a solution for the orphanage with a rainwater tank, but when I went home, I was already so involved in the whole uh, water problem that I wouldn't just uh, let it be. 
and I promised uh, the people in the village that I would see what I could do to, to help them fix this thing when I went back to Denmark. And then I came home and as, as always when I'm home for a little too long I get restless and I need to get out and get out on adventure. And then the idea came to combine those things of adventure and making this project for them. And that's also what Walking for Water, the organization and the idea is about. To do what you love to do, to do what you are good at, and to try to use it for something uh, that is making the world a better place, basically. So that's also what I want to invite people to, to join the, the organization and the, the movement of Walking for Water in whatever way they feel like. Um, I feel I'm good at walking and I like to walk and explore, so that's what I'm doing. But if you are good at something else, maybe you're good at making websites, maybe you're good at making graphical design, maybe you're a musician, whatever your skill and whatever your uh, passion is, you can use it in, in, this, uh, in this network where we also try to, to, to strengthen each other's network, you get to know other good people and you get your work seen a lot of places. It can be hard as an upcoming artist or an upcoming uh, advertisement guy or whatever to actually get your skills out to be seen by a lot of people. But if you join an organization like this, even though the work is volunteer, it, it's still a good way to, to get a reference to show uh, future uh, employees what you can do. Okay. So, thank you. <laughs> Was it too... Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's good? It was fine. Good, good.